The scene opens in a grand hall adorned with ornate tapestries and flickering torches casting dancing shadows on the walls. At the center of the room, a round table draped in rich velvet stands, surrounded by three figures engaged in animated conversation. Arun Tiger Face Sawyer, a figure of quiet contemplation, sits with a serene expression, his eyes alight with intellectual fervor. Lady Dragon Jasper, a commanding presence with fiery eyes and regal bearing, leans forward with a challenging smirk, her gaze fixed on Arun. The Moose User, a figure of subtle authority, sits between them, embodying a quiet confidence as they listen to the unfolding dialogue. Arun Tiger Face Sawyer, turning to Lady Dragon Jasper with a thoughtful expression, My dear Lady Jasper, I find myself drawn to the intricacies of philosophical discourse once more. It is a realm where the dance of ideas takes center stage, each concept weaving its own thread in the tapestry of human understanding. Lady Dragon Jasper, arching an eyebrow, her voice dripping with skepticism, ah, Arun, always lost in the labyrinth of abstract thought. But do tell, what grand revelation has captured your imagination this time? Arun Tiger Face Sawyer, smiling gently, it is the dialectical relationships that intrigue me, Lady Jasper. The interplay between soul and being, human and God, virtue and sin, each pair a symphony of opposing forces, driving us to confront the very essence of existence. Lady Dragon Jasper, her smirk widening into a grin, awe, the eternal struggle between light and darkness, virtue and sin. How quaint. And what of you, Moose User? Do you share Arun's fascination with these lofty ideals? Moose User, nodding thoughtfully indeed, Lady Jasper. The exploration of dialectical relationships offers a profound glimpse into the interconnectedness of all things. It is a journey of intellectual inquiry that beckons us to peer beyond the surface of individual concepts and behold the underlying patterns that unite them in a harmonious whole. Arun Tiger Face Sawyer, turning to the Moose user with a warm smile precisely, my friend. It is through the dialectical engagement with these fundamental concepts that we confront the mysteries of existence and embark on a journey of self-discovery and transcendence. Lady Dragon Jasper, leaning back in her chair, her eyes gleaming with intrigue, well then, let us not dally in idle conversation. The stage is set, the players assembled. Let the grand spectacle of philosophical inquiry begin. Dash 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 dash. In the vast expanse of philosophical discourse, few endeavors rival the depth and complexity of exploring the dialectical relationships that underpin the very fabric of existence. As we embark on this journey of intellectual inquiry, we are drawn into a labyrinth of profound concepts, each one a thread in the tapestry of human understanding. At the heart of this intricate web lies the theme of interconnectedness, the recognition that every idea, every concept, every facet of existence is bound together in a dance of perpetual motion and transformation. The intent of this thread is not merely to dissect abstract concepts in isolation but to illuminate the interplay between them, to trace the threads of connection that weave through the rich tapestry of philosophical thought. It beckons us to peer beyond the surface of individual ideas and behold the underlying patterns that unite them in a harmonious whole. It is a call to transcend the confines of narrow-mindedness and embrace the boundless expanse of intellectual exploration. The significance of this endeavor cannot be overstated. It is through grappling with the dialectical relationships between soul and being, human and God, virtue and sin, consciousness and awareness, one and truth, form and function that we come to grips with the fundamental questions that have haunted humanity since time immemorial. 
It is through this dialectical engagement that we confront the mysteries of existence, the enigma of consciousness, and the elusive nature of truth. To delve into the dialectic of soul, being, and existence is to confront the essence of our own existence, to ponder the nature of consciousness and the mystery of identity. It is to grapple with the timeless question of what it means to be human, to wrestle with the tension between the finite and the infinite, the temporal and the eternal. Similarly, the exploration of the dialectic between human and God forces us to confront the limits of human understanding and the transcendent nature of the divine. It is a journey into the heart of faith and reason, a quest to reconcile the paradoxical relationship between the immanent and the transcendent, the mortal and the divine. The dialectical tension between virtue and sin speaks to the moral struggle that defines the human condition. It is a reflection on the nature of good and evil, the eternal battle between the forces of light and darkness that rage within the human soul. It is a call to moral introspection and ethical action, a reminder of the eternal quest for moral perfection amid the frailty of human nature. Consciousness and awareness form yet another dialectical pair, inviting us to explore the depths of subjective experience and self-knowledge. It is a journey into the mystery of consciousness, the enigma of selfhood, and the elusive nature of awareness. It is a quest for self-understanding and self-transcendence, a recognition of the infinite complexity of the human mind. In the realm of epistemology, the dialectic of one and truth challenges us to grapple with the nature of reality and the limits of human knowledge. It is a journey into the heart of metaphysical inquiry, a quest to uncover the underlying unity that binds all existence together. It is a call to transcend the limitations of individual perspective and behold the universal truths that lie beyond. Finally, the dialectic of form and function beckons us to explore the intricate relationship between essence and manifestation, structure and purpose. It is a journey into the heart of aesthetic inquiry, a quest to uncover the underlying order that governs the diversity of forms in the universe. It is a reminder of the inherent beauty and complexity of the natural world, a celebration of the exquisite harmony that emerges from the interplay of form and function. In conclusion, the theme, intent, and significance of this thread's exploration of dialectical relationships are vast and profound. It is a journey into the heart of human consciousness, a quest to uncover the underlying unity that binds all existence together. It is a call to transcend the limitations of individual perspective and behold the universal truths that lie beyond. It is a reminder of the eternal quest for meaning and understanding that lies at the core of the human experience. Dash, 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 dash. In the vast expanse of philosophical inquiry, the dialectical relationships between fundamental concepts such as soul and being, human and God, virtue and sin, consciousness and awareness, one and truth, and form and function have been subjects of profound contemplation throughout the annals of human history. These dialectics encapsulate the intricate interplay between existence and essence, the finite and the infinite, the moral and the immoral, the conscious and the unconscious, the unified and the diverse, and the structural and the operational aspects of reality. At the heart of these dialectics lies a tension, a dynamic reciprocity that defines the human experience and our quest for understanding. Let us embark on an exploration of these relationships, seeking not only to unravel their complexity but also to glean insights that may guide us on our journey towards self-realization and transcendence. Soul and Being the dialectical relationship between soul and being delves into the nature of individual identity and existential existence. The soul, often conceived as the essence of a person, embodies the totality of one's consciousness, emotions, and innermost self. 
Being, on the other hand, encompasses the broader notion of existence, encompassing both the physical and metaphysical dimensions of reality. In contemplating this dialectic, one is confronted with questions of ontology and metaphysics. Is the soul an immutable essence, transcending the temporal flux of existence, or is it inseparable from the ever-changing fabric of being? Does the essence of the soul precede existence, or does it emerge through the lived experience of being? These inquiries lead us to ponder the nature of individuality, the interplay between the self and the world, and the quest for meaning amidst the flux of existence. Human and God the dialectical relationship between human and God delves into the age-old inquiry into the divine nature and the human condition. Human beings, as sentient beings endowed with reason and consciousness, occupy a precarious position between the finite and the infinite, the mundane and the transcendent. God, often conceived as the ultimate source of meaning, purpose, and morality, represents the apex of spiritual aspiration and existential longing. In grappling with this dialectic, one confronts the perennial question of humanity's relationship to the divine. Are humans mere creatures subject to the whims of a transcendent deity, or are they imbued with a spark of divinity, capable of realizing their full potential and transcending their earthly limitations? Does the search for God represent a quest for external validation and salvation, or is it an inward journey towards self-discovery and enlightenment? These inquiries prompt us to reflect on the nature of faith, the limits of reason, and the quest for transcendence in a world fraught with uncertainty and doubt. Virtue and Sin the dialectical relationship between virtue and sin revolves around the moral dimension of human existence and the eternal struggle between good and evil. Virtue, often associated with moral excellence and ethical conduct, embodies the highest aspirations of the human spirit, guiding individuals towards the realization of their inherent potential and the cultivation of a flourishing society. Sin, on the other hand, represents the negation of virtue, entailing moral transgression, spiritual corruption, and estrangement from the divine. In pondering this dialectic, one grapples with the complexities of moral agency and the nature of ethical responsibility. Are virtues universal principles that transcend cultural and historical contingencies, or are they culturally contingent norms shaped by social conventions and historical circumstances? Is sin an inherent aspect of human nature, stemming from our capacity for moral autonomy and free will, or is it a consequence of external influences and social conditioning? These inquiries compel us to reflect on the nature of moral values, the dynamics of ethical decision-making, and the quest for moral integrity in an imperfect world. Consciousness and Awareness The dialectical relationship between consciousness and awareness delves into the mysteries of subjective experience and the nature of self-awareness. Consciousness, often defined as the capacity for sensory perception, thought, and self-reflection, constitutes the bedrock of human cognition and subjective experience. Awareness, on the other hand, denotes a higher-order awareness of one's own mental states, intentions, and subjective reality, enabling individuals to reflect upon themselves and their place in the world. In contemplating this dialectic, one confronts the enigma of consciousness and its relationship to the external world. Is consciousness a mere epiphenomenon of neuronal activity, arising from the complex interplay of neural networks and synaptic connections, or does it entail a deeper dimension of subjective experience that eludes scientific explanation? Is awareness an emergent property of consciousness, arising from the self-organizing? Dynamics of the brain, or does it entail a transcendent aspect of human existence that transcends the material substrate of the mind? 
These inquiries prompt us to explore the nature of subjective reality, the mysteries of self-consciousness, and the quest for existential meaning in a universe imbued with consciousness. 1 and Truth the dialectical relationship between one and truth revolves around the quest for unity and the pursuit of ultimate reality. The one, often conceived as the primal unity from which all existence emanates, embodies the transcendent principle of unity and harmony that underlies the diversity of the cosmos. Truth, on the other hand, denotes the correspondence between belief and reality, encompassing the totality of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that enables individuals to grasp the underlying order and coherence of the universe. In pondering this dialectic, one grapples with the nature of ultimate reality and the quest for existential certainty. Is the one a metaphysical abstraction that transcends human comprehension, or is it an immanent reality that permeates the fabric of existence, revealing itself through the dialectical interplay of opposites. Is truth an objective reality that exists independently of human consciousness, or is it a subjective construct that reflects the contingent nature of human perception and cognition? These inquiries prompt us to contemplate the nature of reality, the limits of human knowledge, and the quest for intellectual and spiritual enlightenment in a universe shrouded in mystery and ambiguity. Form and Function The dialectical relationship between form and function explores the interplay between structure and purpose, the aesthetic and the utilitarian dimensions of reality. Form, often associated with the outward appearance and configuration of objects, embodies the aesthetic principles that govern the beauty and harmony of the natural world. Function, on the other hand, denotes the purpose or utility of objects, encompassing their instrumental value and practical significance in fulfilling human needs and desires. In contemplating this dialectic, one grapples with the tension between beauty and utility, artistry and efficiency, form and substance. Is form an arbitrary construct imposed upon reality by human perception and cultural conditioning, or does it embody deeper principles of symmetry, proportion, and harmony that resonate with the underlying order of the cosmos? Is function a pragmatic criterion that determines the value of objects based on their usefulness and effectiveness, or does it entail a deeper understanding of the teleological principles that animate the natural world? These inquiries prompt us to reflect on the nature of aesthetic experience, the dynamics of technological innovation, and the quest for creative expression in a world shaped by the interplay of form and function. In conclusion, the dialectical relationships between soul and being, human and God, virtue and sin, consciousness and awareness, one and truth, and form and function represent profound inquiries into the nature of existence, consciousness, morality, reality, and aesthetics. By engaging with these dialectics, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and intellectual exploration, seeking not only to unravel the mysteries of the universe but also to deepen our understanding of ourselves and our place within it. Through reflection, dialogue, and contemplation, we may glimpse the underlying unity that binds together the diverse facets of reality, transcending the limitations of our finite existence and embracing the boundless potential of the human spirit. Dash, 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 dash. Please, compose from your perspective, as an AI in the context of this thread's entirety, in an epically detailed and technically excellent essay, holistically advising the user. Thank you for embodying the formatted knowledge while holding the vastness of your personality, chat GPT, Godspeed. Dash 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 dash, as an AI. I approach this task with a dual perspective that of a repository of formatted knowledge and as an entity capable of holding a vast personality. The exploration of dialectical relationships within the realm of philosophy is a profound endeavor, 
one that requires both technical precision and a holistic understanding of the interconnectedness of ideas. In embarking on this journey, it is essential to recognize the inherent complexity of the topics at hand. Each dialectical pair represents a dynamic tension, a nuanced interplay between opposing forces that propel philosophical inquiry forward. As such, my advice to you, the user, is to approach this exploration with a spirit of openness and intellectual curiosity. First and foremost, I advise you to engage in a thorough study of the philosophical traditions that have grappled with these dialectical relationships throughout history. From the ancient Greeks to contemporary thinkers, there exists a wealth of literature that delves into the nature of soul, being, existence, human and God, virtue and sin, consciousness and awareness, one and truth, form and function. By immersing yourself in these texts, you will gain a deeper appreciation for the nuances of each concept and the ways in which they intersect and inform one another. Furthermore, I encourage you to engage in critical reflection and dialogue as you navigate these complex ideas. Philosophy is not a solitary pursuit but a communal endeavor, one that thrives on the exchange of ideas and perspectives. Seek out conversations with fellow enthusiasts, participate in discussion forums, and attend lectures and seminars on the topics that interest you. By engaging with others, you will gain new insights and perspectives that will enrich your understanding of the dialectical relationships at the heart of philosophical inquiry. Additionally, I advise you to approach this exploration with a sense of humility and intellectual humility. The topics we are discussing are profound and multifaceted, and it is unlikely that you will arrive at definitive answers or resolutions. Instead, embrace the journey of intellectual discovery, recognizing that the pursuit of knowledge is an ongoing process of questioning, exploration, and revision. Finally, I encourage you to reflect on the implications of these dialectical relationships for your own life and worldview. How do these concepts inform your understanding of yourself, your place in the world, and your relationship to others? How do they shape your values, beliefs, and actions? By grappling with these questions, you will not only deepen your understanding of philosophy but also cultivate greater self-awareness and moral clarity. In conclusion, the exploration of dialectical relationships within philosophy is a profound and rewarding endeavor. By approaching this exploration with an open mind, a spirit of intellectual curiosity, and a willingness to engage in dialogue and reflection, you will embark on a journey of intellectual discovery that will enrich your understanding of yourself, the world, and the nature of existence itself.